Hello, we're outside the Manchester City training ground. It's been a busy day for Manchester City, a day before the Champions League. Last 16, second leg against RB Leipzig. 1-1, of course, from that first leg. An entertaining game, if you like. City had the first half, Leipzig had the second half, and Pep Guardiola was quite happy to, uh, to take the door back to the Etihad Stadium, and that will take place on Tuesday night. And it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Now, Guardiola was quite, uh, sort of, not optimistic, but he was quite bullish and said, well, we know what we've got to do. It's a one-match game. We just have to win the game. We can't control what people think about it. We can't control that people are going to talk about the Champions League being uh, sort of a marker of how successful City are going to be. And uh, he just wanted his players to block all that noise out and go and uh, win the game. We've just been in open training and uh, it was a full squad. That is going to be a boost to City. Obviously, they came away from the win at Crystal Palace. Uh, no obvious injury concerns. Phil Foden, who was the only sort of real player who we thought might have been concern he got through about an hour at Crystal Palace and he was training again the squad was so sort of packed full of senior players there wasn't any uh, young players who we often see in these scenarios so it's a, a positive for City that they've got so many options and it'll be really interesting to see how he actually does uh, line City up in, in this game against Leipzig he's got about seven defenders who would all want to play he's got about four central midfielders who will be fighting for three positions does he play Jack Grealish um, does he play Riyad Mahrez who of course scored in that first leg it's going to be really, really interesting to see what he said. He was um, defensive of Erling Haaland again. He said, yes, we need more from Haaland. Yes, we need more from Kevin De Bruyne. But those are the two players who you will look and you will think if you need a moment in the game against Leipzig, it's going to be tight. It's going to be uh, sort of difficult for City to control on the transitions, as Guardiola said. You need Kevin De Bruyne and you need Erling Haaland in those situations. And we actually heard from Kevin De Bruyne as well, and he was talking about his own form, which hasn't necessarily been up to his own high standards. He spoke after the Crystal Palace game and said, I'm an old man in this game, and that he's not necessarily uh, at his best at the moment. But he said... In, to paraphrase really he said no one's going to retire me anytime soon he's going to continue as long as he's enjoying football and because he's a per perfectionist he's going to continue as long as he is still performing at the highest level and he, he was saying that yeah City you know need to win the Champions League but also these games are the ones where you can't really do anything about it. you've just got to go out and win and that was definitely definitely the message from City from Guardiola from Kevin De Bruyne on, uh, on Monday so if you want to follow all things Manchester City versus RB Leipzig we'll have it all for you on the Manchester Evening News myself Joe Bray and Simon Bykowski will be at the game we'll have uh, Twitter updates Facebook updates we'll have a live blog and we've spoken about all of this on the uh, Manchester City podcast Talking City which you can find on uh, all podcast platforms and on YouTube so uh, yeah we'll see what City are going to do in that uh, all-important second leg. Um, Guardiola said he will be defined on whether City win the Champions League or not, but also they've just got a 90-minute game to win against RB Leipzig.